Today we're painting fall leaves fast and loose in watercolor. The colors I'm using are quinacridone gold, Windsor lemon, permanent rose, and a little phthalo blue, and cobalt blue. I'm working on a background design. I wet the paper thoroughly, drop in a lot of Windsor lemon, a little bit of quinacridone gold, and a little bit of the permanent rose. This exercise is a great way to learn composition with beautiful fall leaves. If it turns out really well, you can use it as a painting or you can download it to a lot of different sites online and have coffee mugs or placemats or other gift articles made for Christmas gifts. The background is going to go under the leaves and it needs to be fairly light. Since we're working wet on wet, this won't be an issue. I just throw on some paint and then dry it thoroughly. Here comes the fun part. Now I'm going to arrange some leaves until I find a pattern I like. Once I get a pattern I like, I draw around the leaves. I also took a photograph so I'd have a color reference for painting. To paint the leaves, we're working on dry paper with the same colors. I don't paint a leaf completely red or green or yellow. I start with some red, nice thick wash, and then red and blue to make purple around the edges and then maybe some yellow in the middle. You don't want any two leaves to look exactly the same. So feel free to just keep dipping your brush in different areas of color, mix them together and see how they turn out on the paper. This is watercolor at its best. I'm working really fast so I can show you a couple other techniques while the paint's still wet. If you have several leaves together, don't worry about them blending in. You could leave a line of white between the colors but you're probably better off just to put the colors together and let them blend together. So we can always define the edges later with paint or watercolor pencil. I mixed a very dark green using phthalo blue, Windsor lemon, and a little bit of permanent rose. I think the dark green accents the bright colors and makes them look even prettier.
A new technique I'm going to show you to add variety to your washes is to use watercolor pencils and a straight razor. If you use the razor to shave bits of the watercolor pencil into a wet wash, some of them will dissolve a bit, but you'll still end up with chunks of opaque color that can make a very interesting surface. You can also use the razor to scrape out veins in the leaves as long as the surface is still wet. Sometimes you're going to get light veins and sometimes you'll get dark veins, depending on how wet it is and how hard you scrape. If you don't work as fast as I do, you may want to scrape out leaves as you paint them. Once the main color is dry, if it's too light, or if you just want more color, you can come back in and paint over some areas again. You can help to define the edges of light leaves by painting just a slightly darker shade behind them. Or you can outline the leaves with either paint or colored pencil. I'm using a brush loaded with thin paint and tapping it on my finger so that I spatter some areas of color onto some of the lighter areas. So to give your fall leaves more color, you can use colored pencil, you can use spatter, or you can just keep painting. Shadows are nice too. I'm not really putting any in this picture. But I'm going to be doing another exercise with leaves. Doing a little bit more detail. This one's just for fun and I hope you have fun with it too. For the full lesson, visit my website www.debwatson.org. Happy painting!